Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's Inspirationstation.com. Thank you so much. If you are watching me on my YouTube channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And if you're watching me on my Facebook page or my um, blog, I would love for you to follow those as well. Today is day nine of my 14 days of sweet treats. Is today nine? Wait, hold on. I think today's day 10. You know what? Today is day 10. Holy Pete, time is going by fast. Today is day 10. Day eight was the um, little notebook. And then day nine was the um, three by three little thank you note cards. So today's day 10. Holy man, we are going by fast. And I am super excited to show you today's project too. Again, we're going to be using the um, Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper along with the Ice Cream um, Sweet Ice Cream Bundle, which is found on page 48 and 49 of your um, mini catalog. So I'm excited to show you that. Don't forget too that Celebrations is still going on. This will be going on until February 28th. Um, so just till the end of the month. So if there's something in here that you want, um, now is definitely the time to um, get it. Also, we have our really awesome joining special. Um, joining Stamping Up and Buying the Starter Kit already is an awesome deal because you get to pick out $125 worth of product, your choice and you only pay $99 in tax. So not only are you getting $26 of free merchandise, but you're also getting um, free shipping, which shipping is 10%, so you're getting that too. Plus right now, that's that's our normal awesome deal. Now we're adding um, in, and I know this says six um, packs, but it is only five packs. You're getting five packs of designer series paper for free. Um, one pack is in the brights, one pack is in the neutrals, one pack is in the subtles, one pack is in the regals, and then one pack is in the 20, um, 2020 to 2022 in colors. That's 200 sheets of paper. Um, that is a value of $60 alone. So that is an awesome deal. New patterns too. So um, that's exciting. So that is what's going on right now. So let's go ahead and get started with today's project. Um, I'm super, this project's so cute to me. So we are going to make a popsicle box, which I just remembered. Hold on a second. I have to grab my popsicle stick. Um, all right, I have my popsicle stick. I was like, wait a minute. Um, so we we are going to make this cute, adorable slider popsicle um, box. And inside this popsicle box are little popsicle lip glosses. Now you're probably like, what? Where did you get those? Well, I'm going to tell you. So here are these little lip glosses. They are so adorable. They slide off like this, and then they open up like this in their little lip glosses. I got these at Target, and they are in their party section. So my daughter, my 10-year-old, thinks this is just the cat's meow. She just loves these. So what a great little thing. Um, so we're going to put three of them in there, and I do have them adhered in there just by a little glue dot so that they stay. But how cute would this be for a party favor, for a birthday party, or even a little thank you gift for your daughter's friends? Um neighbors, you name it. This is just super cute. So we're going to make this little popsicle box. All right. So we're going to need some supplies here. Obviously, we're going to need the sweet ice cream stamp set, but we are not needing the ice cream cone punch today. So today we're only going to use the stamp set because the punch that we're going to use is the heart punch um, pack. And this is for the regular heart and then the scallop heart behind it. So we're going to need those today. We're going to need, again, some of this striped sheer Blackberry Bliss ribbon. Love it. It's very pretty. We are going to need the Blackberry Bliss ink pad. We're going to need some rhinestone basic jewels. 
And then we are going to need some supplies here. So we have two pieces of cardstock to make the box. Um, this piece here is the base, and this measures at five and a half by six and a half. And then this piece right here is going to be the slider part um, that goes around the box. And this measures at three and a half by eight and a half. <clears throat> Then you're going to need a piece of designer series paper from the ice cream corner. Now, I used, obviously, the side with the popsicles because that's we're making a popsicle box and we have popsicle lip gloss inside. So this piece right here measures at two and three eighths by three and three eighths. And then you just need some scrap paper. So I have Bermuda Bay scrap paper here for the scallop heart and then the basic white for the regular heart. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Of course, what is my like all-time favorite tool? The Simply Score tool. <laughs> so we are definitely gonna need that. So I'm gonna get this flat here and we're gonna start with our box, the base part of our box that measures again, five and a half by six and a half. And we're gonna score this at one and a half on all four sides. So we're just gonna go like this at one and a half. Turn it, we're gonna do one and a half. Turn it, and we're gonna do one and a half. Okay, so that is our popsicle base box. Now, <clears throat> now we need to create the slider that goes around it. So we're gonna do the landscape side, which is the eight and a half side, eight and a half inch side. We're gonna set it all the way up there, and we're gonna score this at two and a half. We're gonna score this at four and one sixteenth. So four and one sixteenth. Then we're gonna score this at six and nine sixteenth. So we gotta go all the way up here to six and nine sixteenth, which is the one notch after the half right here. So we're gonna do it like that. And then we have to score it at eight and one eighth. So we have eighth and it's not this little notch, it's the second notch right here. So, or the first little notch right there. So there we go, all right? So we don't need that anymore. <clears throat> we are gonna use our bone folder because we're going to varnish in these lines. And obviously with this one, this one goes right here. We are now going to, this is what's going to create our little box. So we need to put some adhesive here. I'm just gonna use our tear and tape <clears throat> because it's like the perfect size right there to do so. And we're going to rip that. And then I'm going to grab this, rip that. And then we're going to place that like that, okay? So now we have our top part of our slider box. Now, of course, I probably should have put our designer series paper on there first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stamp and seal and I'm just gonna place that like right there. All right, there, now there's our box. I should have done that first, but that's okay. All right, so now we have the base of our box. And what we're gonna do is we're going to cut on the score line up to the score line, creating that little dart that we always talk about. So we're gonna cut on the score line, but then we're gonna take a little bit off to the side here and create these like little darts. Um, and that is so that it's easier for us when we are putting our box together. All right. And we're gonna do that. There's the little dart that doesn't wanna come off. There we go. All right, so now we want to varnish in our score lines here, which we could have done first too, but I did not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay, we're gonna varnish in that. So basically what we're going to do is these little flaps here that we cut on the lines here, we're going to bring them up like this, and then we're going to bring our box sides up like this, all right? <clears throat> so 
we want to put adhesive on each side of these tabs. So I'm going to flip it over and we want adhesive on each side. Now for this, because I want to be able to have some wiggle room, um, I'm going to use our multi-purpose glue, which looks like this, our Tombow multi-purpose glue, because when I bring this up like this, I want to be able to have a little bit of wiggle room to line it up perfectly. Whereas if you do the tear and tape, once you put that down, it's it's there, it's down. This you can actually work with for a little bit. And then we're just going to bring in the sides here, just like before, and we're just going to bring them up. And then we're going to pinch it and hold it for a second. And I got a little glue on the back of my finger, so give me a minute here. Ugh. All right, <clears throat> that should be good. And then we should be able to fit this right into this box here, just like that, and slide it in, which we were able to, so yay. All right, so now we want to attach the back of our, our popsicle stick. So we're gonna use that multi-adhesive glue again. And I am going to literally just put a little line like that. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to place my popsicle stick like that and I'm going to hold it for a second and then I'm going to set it aside. And the reason why I'm gonna set it aside is because I want that to dry a little bit. And actually, I'm gonna need a little bit more glue. I can already tell. So let me bring that back to the center of the camera. Sorry about that. All right. There we go. I needed a little more glue. So we're gonna, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let that dry. And I'm going to, to actually, ah, I am making a mess over here. There we go. I'm gonna let that dry. All right, so in the meantime, let's punch and stamp, shall we? <laughs> All right, so we need a regular heart that is not a scallop heart in our basic white. And then we need a scalloped heart in our Bermuda Bay. And what I chose to do was treat yourself. So, because you're treating yourself to some cute little lip glosses and little popsicle. So we're gonna ink this up in Blackberry Bliss and we're just going to stamp, just like that. This, this project's pretty easy. We only stamp one time, so that's pretty easy. Then we are going to get out our rhinestones here. And I used a big one and kind of a medium one doesn't matter what you use, um, really doesn't. So I'm going to put one like that and then let's find like a littler one and we'll just do like that. Okay, very cute. Very cute. Now I did pop this on top of this with dimensionals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some dimensionals here and pop that up. I just kinda of wanna give it a little bit more oomph, a little more height. And then we're gonna flip this over and do the same thing. And then we'll set that aside for right now. So I've got this where this doesn't all right, I'm going to shut this. That way it stays in place for right now while we decorate the outside of the box and then we'll put the little chapstick or little lip glosses in last, okay? So before we put this down, we wanna wrap the ribbon. So I'm gonna get out my ribbon here and I'm just going to kind of roll it flat across my station here and I'm going to put it like that. And again, I'm going to bring it over to the side here because I want enough to make sure that I have enough to make a little bow over here. And I'd rather have more than not enough. So we're going to go ahead 
and we're going to tie our little knot. If I can hold on to the ribbon, there we go. So I have the ribbon and now we're gonna make our little Mickey ears. All right. And I'm gonna kind of play around with that because I am not like a very good bow maker. <laughs> I am if I have a bow maker, but when I'm doing bows on a side like this, this is like not generally my forte. All right, so now I wanna make sure that I trim a little bit of that, make sure that it's angled, so it is. So now we're gonna go ahead and peel this off the back of the dimensionals so we can place that on there. And we'll just go ahead and do it like that. Cute! I think I have my straw, or there we go. I was gonna say, I think I have my popsicle stick a little crooked. Mm, let's see. All right, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our little lip glosses on the inside here. Um, it doesn't matter what order you go in, but I am going to flip them over and I'm going to get out some of our mini glue dots and I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to put one at the top and one at kind of near the bottom here. And then I'm just gonna kind of place them inside and I'm going to do the same thing for all three of these. Aren't these little lip glosses so cute? I saw them in Target and I was like, oh, I have to have these. All right, so then I'm gonna kind of place that one up. They're so cute. And like I said, I have a, my daughter actually is 10, but she's turning 11 this month. So she turns it on the 24th of this month. Um, which is sad because, of course, she can't have a party with her friends or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to snip this top part of this box here because I can see there's just a little bit. A little bit extra right there that's kind of bugging me. There we go. So she's kind of bummed out, um, but she is asked... she asked if she could have her cousin over and I think we can handle family. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm just, I don't know about you guys, but I am so sick of this. Okay. So, yep, we got them put in there and then we're going to put our box in there and there is our cute little popsicle boxes. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, you guys, I hope you guys like this project because I think it is so adorable. Um, and right now the sweet ice cream cone, um, builder punch is on back order. Um, well, it's at actually at a non-orderable status, but it will be back, um, the week of February 22nd. So it is coming back this month. So that's good news. Um, <clears throat> And I will be, for, for the seven days that I do this sweet ice cream, I will have a PDF um, with all of the colored copy pictures, supply list, measurements, full instructions available in my PDF store. I do currently have the first seven sweet strawberry um, PDF available in my PDF store. So um, that is an instant download for you. It comes instantly in your email. So once you purchase it off my PDF store at amandasinspirationstation.com, it instantly comes to you and you can instantly print it. So just, and you'll then have that. Plus you'll always have the videos from the YouTube. So how cute is this? I love this. I hope you guys liked it. If you want to purchase any of the products or of these or any other products, um, you can just go to amandasinspirationstation.com and purchase them. Please use the host this hostess code. Um, however, if your order is 150 or more, do not use that hostess code because you will collect your own hostess rewards. Plus, your celebration items, don't forget that as well. And if you um, have an order of 300 or more, we have a hostess stamp set that is free that you get. And let me get to that. That right here is called our punch party and it is completely free. 
So there's that. I will see you guys back tomorrow for day 11. This time I got it right, day 11. I hope you enjoyed day 10 of 14 Days of Sweet Treats, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Thanks, bye.